Hello my precious jewels, it's Julie, and if you like makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, first impressions, makeup hauls, and all things beauty, then you come to the right channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick try new makeup slash get ready with me. I'm going to a concert tonight and I wanted to just come on here, do my makeup. This is like probably the last of my birthday celebration from what I know. So I just want to show you the products that I'm going to be trying that are new. I have the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydro Glow Foundation. I also have the Juvia's Place Culture 2 Palette. I purchased this palette when it first came out, but I never tried it. So we're going to give this a try today. Also, we're going to be using this Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Water Powder Serum. It is a mattifying and priming serum. So I already did my brows and put an eye base on. I use what has become my favorite brow pencil. This benefit precisely my brow. I'm loving it. I use it along with the Too Faced brow wig. This is the base that I have on along with my IRL filter concealer to carve out the brows. So we're gonna just open up this palette and I'm excited to try it. Of course, I love eyeshadow palettes. I wanna say this retails for $38. It has 30 shades, 30 gorgeous colors. Now I think that I'm wearing hot pink, but I think I'm gonna do blue. I think I'm wearing a hot pink shirt. Then it might turn out to just be like black turtleneck or something. Even though it's like 70 something degrees here now, when I get out of the concert, it's not going to be that nice. I'm going to start with this color, Palm Kernel. Now, if you guys want to see a, a detailed video on this palette with swatches and everything, you know, I have no issue doing that. I love swatch videos and I love playing with new makeup. I could do a pink look. I just did a pink look. Did I just do a pink look? The other night I had pink on my eyes when I went out, but I'm definitely wearing like I think a hot pink shirt and my pink cowboy boots. I'm gonna do both eyes at the same time because I am not pressed for time, not yet. I wanna leave here by six o'clock. That's my plan. So it's like 3.36 right now. I was in here rushing, trying to do my hair and everything. And I was boiling some eggs because I can have eggs on my diet. I was past. And I was like, what's that popping sound in my house? I know I'm the only one home. And it was my eggs. <laughs> They burnt. I was like, you know what? This is what happens when you're rushing, trying to get everything done. It doesn't always happen the way it needs to. This is definitely a different kind of color. Let's see what we're doing with this. I don't know. Wow, that's different. These greens are pretty. Look at all of these greens. They're so pretty. I'm gonna go into this color right here called Soweto. Yeah, and I'm gonna just bring it a little bit lower than the other color. That's a nice color. I could actually do like a kind of natural looking eye. I like all of these different colors that they have in here because you have transition colors and you have so many bright, pretty colors. This is gonna be excellent for spring, summer. I think that's why I didn't try it because when I looked at it, I was like, these are a lot of spring, summer colors. Yes, they are. We're just gonna make it a little bit deeper. So I'm thinking that maybe we don't even have to go Colorful. I could do like a neutral look. We're gonna see. Cause I can put that palm kernel on the lid. That nice bright color is a pretty color. And we don't have to worry about what color we're gonna use. So guys, I've been having a wonderful time celebrating my birthday. This is my second concert. The first concert that I went to the other night was a gospel concert. We were backstage. I got to meet like everybody. And that's what made me say I'm putting some hair on today. Because when I cut my when I cut my hair originally I gained like about six pounds or seven pounds while I was in New York right and I looked at my face in those pictures and I was like oh no so I said you know tonight is not gonna be a night like the other night because we had like VIP passes like we got to be like everybody it was the first time that I ever watched a concert from backstage I'm gonna put some of the pictures up just so you could see like I'm gonna post it in the video, just so you guys can see. So today I was like, mm -mm, let me put some hair on because my face was looking really, just really wide. So although I love the short hair, you know, I'm not gonna be wearing the wigs all the time, but today I was like, mm -mm, I don't know who I might meet up with tonight. And let me put some hair on. Now I really do like this color right here, but like I said, I'm wearing pink. 
Is that gonna be crazy? Let me see. It'll be a nice neutral look on the eye. Oh, that's so pretty though. That color is called Yaounde, but it's beautiful. I might have to change my outfit because I really like this color. This is a um, Luna Beauty brush. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush, the MAC 222, only because I like, I like this brush better. This color is gorgeous. I think I might have to change my outfit. That is so pretty. Yeah, there's no way that I can mix a hot pink shirt with this. All right, I'm gonna change it up. I like this color and it's different. It's different for what I've been doing. So I wanna, you know, keep it interesting. I like this palette already because it has so many colors that you could take, like you could take this one palette on vacation and do a lot with it. Like you really can. Cause it has so many different colors in it. The color story is very, very versatile. You know, I like to bring my shadow up a little bit higher only because my, my eyes are so hooded and I like to be able to see what I have on. So I'm gonna go into this color right here, Dashiki and put that in the crease over here. Oh yes, that is gorgeous. It's not as pigmented as I thought this color would be because it's one of the darkest colors in the palette, but it's good. It's that light brown color again. I just wanna blend it out. Should we put a little sparkle somewhere? Let's see. Mm, I'm gonna go. I like that, and I'm gonna wear. I'm wearing a yellow sweater. That one is called cool. Kingdom. I like that. <laughs> you know I'm different. Like you know I like to put different colors together. That's just me. I'm gonna go into this color, this orange color, and just it's like a bright. Oh yeah, I love that. I could see a lot of different looks with this palette. Gorgeous. I'm just gonna put a little wing. Okay, I'm gonna put my lashes on and I'll be right back. But I'm really, really loving this eye look already. I have the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Mattifying Water Powder Serum with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. I love these eyes. Okay, so it retails for $36. It's new. It came out a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now. Black owned at Sephora, best for oily combo and normal skin, not commodogenic, and is vegan. It's a mattifying water to powder serum that primes, absorbs, shine, and visibly refines the skin with a comfort matte complex, a unique blend of seven potent ingredients. The skincare prep serum absorbs oil all day without over drying fast absorbing, translucent, and undetectable on skin tones. It preps your skin for the best matte makeup results while combating acne prone skin concerns like oiliness, shininess, and large pores. Okay, we're gonna see how this does with the pores. Cause you can see I have a lot of enlarged pores. So let's see what it does. You're supposed to tap it and it comes out. I think the last time I used like 15 drops it's definitely a different kind of bottle. <laughs> like, you could, you tap it at the bottom to get the product to come out. It's got this nozzle with a hole in it. Do not shake, just tap the bottom. Last time I, I shook it. Now, I didn't clean the fallout off my face, and I should have, but it's gonna be covered anyway. And I already have put my skincare on. It's like a very liquidy, just liquid but it turns a little bit thicker as it dries down because i did try this one time before and i bought the other one too the moisturizing serum don't ask me why i bought that because i don't know sometimes you have different textures of skin like my skin is oily everywhere but my forehead has lately become very dry so i was doing a moisturizing serum slash primer on my forehead. Okay, so I do see like a little, a little difference. It's very, it's slightly tacky. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead because my forehead can get oily. I'm just gonna use like five drops. 
and put it up there and down here. Around my mouth gets oily. I tried the other Makeup Forever foundation that came out. I wanna say it was like, I can't remember if it was last year or two years ago, but I did do a video about it. Well, I can't find it in my studio. Now, I don't know if I took it back. I have to watch my video to find out because I don't think that I loved it. I don't usually like a lot of Makeup Forever products only because they always turn orange on my skin. They never have the perfect shade, so that could be the reason why I can't find it. This foundation, the Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Long Wear Foundation is the one that I had before. I don't know what I did with it. I can't remember. I don't know if it's here or if it's not. Okay, so this one is the Makeup Forever HD Hydro Glow Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. It comes in 32 colors. The other one came in 40 colors. And this one, it retails for $47. It says, good for uneven texture, hydrating, non-commodogenic, natural finish, hyaluronic acid. It is best for dry, combo, and normal skin. But being that we put that oil control product on, I'm hoping that it helps. It has a Hydra Skin Booster Complex that mimics the hydrating effect of a sheet mask. It's free of parabens and formaldehydes and all of that. You can read the whole list. This skincare boosting formula is inspired by skincare sheet mask and delivers a 24 hour hydration. It's ideal for dry, mature, sensitive skin and also visibly improves the skin's texture and radiance in as little as four weeks of use. The feather light texture melts into skin and is buildable for added coverage. The skin looks good after that prime. I can see where it kind of plumps up the pore some. Okay, so let's see if this shade is any good. I don't know, I just don't usually have a lot of luck with Makeup Forever. It's a glass bottle. The cap is white, the other cap I think was beige. Oh nice, it has a pump. It is 1.01 fluid ounces. And I'm just gonna... It looks orangey already. This is shade number 4Y. 70 and it's very orange as always like their complexion products on I me mean, i think the best one that i tried from them oh it smells like i it smells like something that was burning after it burnt that's what it smells like if that makes sense okay so this one is four Y70, which is for yellow undertone 70. Have any of you guys tried this? Let me know what your thoughts were, if you did, in the comment section, please. And if you have not liked this video yet, please give the video a thumbs up. And of course, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel, especially if you've been here before and you're watching i would love for you to please hit the subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything but it does help out the channel now it does have a very natural glowy look it did oxidize we can see that the color is changed already it definitely definitely oxidized you see the difference right it's not a full coverage but we're going to try to see if we can cover up my hyperpigmentation. Cause that's when I know that I really love the coverage of something. If it can cover up those spots under my chin, then we are in business. Okay, so the color oxidized. It blended in nice. It's a little dark compared to my chest. And maybe it's not so much that it's dark. I think the undertone is like totally different. So, so far, that's that. Okay, we're gonna try this Fenty We're Even Concealer again. I have it in the color, I wanna say this is 370 something. 370N. I didn't love it the first time I tried it. It's very serum-like. It's not so much as it's, it's lightweight, but you can feel the smooth serum feel, if that makes sense. It goes on nice. It feels very smooth going on, like really, really smooth, but I still, I did not love it. I didn't. I couldn't help it. I did not love it. I wanted to love it, and I'm going to keep trying it. It's so weird having hair on. Like, it really is. What are y'all thinking about the skin so far? I still see a lot of pores. 
a lot. Okay, that's why I don't like to do wear tests or like try new makeup when I'm going out. I like to do it on a day when I might be running errands, but not when I'm going someplace because you know, you want your skin to look as best as it can when you're going out. One thing I could say about these shadows, they're very pigmented. They are. They blend in very nice. My problem that I have with this conceal was under my eyes. It just didn't go in seamlessly. And I didn't put no color corrector on because I wanted to see what kind of coverage the actual foundation gives. I'm gonna start incorporating my sunscreen when I'm filming, only because I very rarely add sunscreen. I have it in my skincare, it's usually in my moisturizer and my like foundation or whatever, and I know sometimes not enough. I wanna do what's right on camera for you guys so you won't forget your sunblock, because I have sunblock. I just hardly ever wear it. <laughs> Because I used to have such bad, not reactions, but it used to turn purple. Like, everything was purple. So now they have some that don't give you that purple hue, which is wonderful. I'm not used to incorporating it into my everyday routine, which is not good. So now that I am chapter 52, <laughs> I'm going to start doing a sunblock on a regular. Okay, so I'm going to set the under eyes right now because I don't want them to crease. So far, they're looking pretty good. So you know this is my trusty. Oh my God, I'm hitting. Can you see the pan? I'm hitting, wait, I'm hitting pan on this. That's how you know I really love something because I don't usually hit pan on something. I've been using this and I've been loving it. And I've been loving it. It took the place of my $40 Charlotte Tilbury powder. It's just wonderful. Like I just love it. And it's $8 and it does exactly the same thing. And for the $8, it has a face powder that I've never, never used. I don't think I've ever used the face powder. I don't think I have. I think I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Cause I don't think I've ever used it. Yeah, and this is in the color Smooth Sand. I have two other ones, but not in this color. The next time I order something from Shein, then I'll get another one. But it will be soon because I wanna make sure that I don't go without this powder. Okay, so. So far, the skin is looking good. I'm going to put a little liquid blush on. This is the Juvia's Place. I never use I never used this one. I bought a lot of these, but I never used this one, period. So we're gonna try this color today. Just because it's like a, I don't know, burnt orange, but it's gorgeous. Love that. Um, that color's pretty. It's very pigmented. Okay. Oh, I didn't tell you what the color was, right? Did I poppy? That's what it's called. Oh, Perky, Perky Pop. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. This is the LYS Cream Bronzer in the color Strength. I do like that color. I do like that color. I feel like I, I put so much blush under the eyes. All right, so I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Blondie Powder to set my under eyes. I definitely feel like this foundation is a little a little dark. It could be my lighting. I usually can really tell when I am editing. It's 426, right? I know when we started doing makeup, it was three something. I didn't show you the time, cause it's gonna be a weird test, but not like a weird test, weird test. Cause I'm only gonna probably be out maybe six hours. 426 is the time. I'm gonna use the coffee cake powder to set the rest of the face. I really love this powder. <laughs> I do. It's so good. I'm gonna do under my eyes real fast. I'm gonna use this little brush. So I'm gonna go into Dashiki. Dashiki and this one. Cause I wanna be able to smoke out under the eyes. Let me try this brighter color on my side. I saw that House Labs got some new eye pencils. And they have a yellow. I can't wait to try it. All right, I'm gonna go into this orange. I used this before, and I like the way it showed up under the eyes. So that's what we're gonna do in our waterline to like brighten some things up. I don't really see that.
Maybe this is the one that I didn't like. It was one of them that didn't show up good. I'm gonna use this. This LA Girl Shockwave Metallic Eyeliner in the shade Lullaby. That's what it looks like. Let's see what kind of pigment we get from this. I'm gonna spray my face with this Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't pulled this out in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna tap that in. I'm gonna use my Dior Backstage Makeup No Makeup Powder. Why is it looking shiny like that at the top of my forehead? I don't know why. I'm gonna use this right here to try to get some under eye brightness. This is the A14 by Makeup by Ariel. I'm really starting to feel this powder. I didn't like it before, but I actually like it now. Now what's crazy to me is the cheeks look gorgeous like everything looks nice and smooth okay i like the brightness i don't know what stopped filming but i put <laughs> this bronzer on i put this under my eyes to give a little brightness and i contoured of course with this bronzer because i'm loving this bronzer look i love 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 this bronzer i don't know why, when it stopped or why it stopped, then I, I hate when that happens. So everything is looking good. I'm gonna put my mascara on. I don't know, I like the dewy. I like the dewy setting spray now. I'll fix that once it dries. I'm gonna use this one. Wretch Batch, it's one of my favorites. This is by one size. So, I don't have any brightness under my eyes, like at all. But I don't wanna put too much powder under there because <sighs> I'm mad. I'm gonna do a little bit of this because I just wanna brighten the face a little bit. Gorgeous, yeah. So it was me with that with that blush, the liquid blush. I'm gonna go under it with the powder again. Like, I'm, I'm all messed up now, but that's all right. I'm gonna let that bake. I'm gonna put some highlighter on. I'll use this one. I don't know what's going on today. I can't get, get myself together. I'm not feeling happy about this makeup today, but it is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in my inner corner just so hopefully I could just still wear my same outfit because that's the perfect color. And I'm gonna have a yellow sweater. I'm gonna put a yellow sweater on. Nice. My under eyes look so dry, and I cannot blame it on the concealer. It was me. I'm gonna spray with this. I love this Korean brand setting spray. This is Self Beauty's Uniconic Glow Fixer Eye. Love, love, love this setting spray. I love the touch of pink with those eyes. Now to me, I feel like it's not as smooth as the house labs. It's really not. I'm just gonna put something simple on my lips like a nude lip. This is Chestnut by MAC. This is Peach Nude by House Labs. So you know, always like a little bit of concealer to brighten my look up. I'm 
I'm gonna use this Maybelline Lip to Gloss. I'm gonna let my lips dry first and then let me comb my hair and I'll be right back to, to go over every product that I use with you guys. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm gonna put a little bit of this Amber Color Lift the Gloss on. This is our final look. I think the makeup looks, it looks good. I mean, I've seen my makeup look a whole lot better but it looks good so I'm just gonna go over everything that we use. I think the skin looks really nice. I think the pores look good. So we use this Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Water Powder Serum. We're gonna see how it holds up. So far the skin is looking good. I put it all over my face but mostly in my cheek area where I have my texture and um, it's looking good. It's looking very smooth. So I'm loving that so far. Then we use this Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydro Glow Foundation. We have it in the color 4Y70. I think it looks gorgeous. I think the skin looks gorgeous. The foundation definitely did oxidize. I don't know that I would go a shade lighter. I would have to see what the other shades look like, but I remember this is the shade that I got in the other foundation. And for the life of me, I don't know what happened to that foundation, if I returned it or if I still have it. So I need to watch my video, because it'll tell me my thoughts on it and then I'll be like okay I got rid of it or whatever so yeah but I'm loving this hair I think it looks so so good this wig is so big if I showed you like on the back of my head like <laughs> I got the band on it and I have the comb tucked under but I don't have any hair to tuck the combs in so it's crazy but I love it it looks so good we tried this culture palette by Juvie's Place, the culture too. I'm loving this palette is good. If you guys want to see a dedicated video to this culture palette, let me swatch everything. Let me do another look. I am loving that palette. I love these eye colors and I am going to actually wear my original outfit because I got this pop of pink in my eyes, so I'm good. I use the Juvie's Place blush in the color Perky Poppy under, well I didn't put it under the foundation, I put it right on top of the foundation and then I used these two blushes by one size which was Firestarter and Rich Batch. They were good. His highlighter is not as smooth in texture as I would love. It gave like a little bit of chunkiness but it's good. So yeah, I don't have any complaints. I use my Huda Beauty powders to set my face, Blondie and Coffee Cake. And I also use my Dior No Makeup Makeup Backstage. So I use the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Day Spray All Night. I love this setting spray. Everything usually lasts really long with it, but it just gives like a matte, a more matte look. And I've been into a more dewy look lately, so I'm loving this Uniconic Glow Fixer by Self Beauty. I love it. It's a Korean brand. I have this one and the matte one, and if I put both of them on together, they just gorgeous. Like, they just last beautifully on the skin. Yeah, I'm loving a lot of the products that I tried from Self Beauty. Like, they're really, really good. I use this powder by Charlotte Tilbury. It's Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Eye and Face Powder. It's wonderful. And I also use this Rihanna Fenty We're Even Concealer. I used it in the color 370N. Better than the last time, I still see creasing under my eyes. It could be me, I don't think so. I'm not really loving, loving, loving this concealer. It's plenty of concealers that I have tried that I love more than this one. I'm gonna keep trying it, but I don't love it so far. And I have this on my lips. This is the House Labs uh, Le Monster Lip Crayon in the color Peach Matte. That is what I have on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. You guys are my precious jewels and I love, love, love you guys. Thank you for all of the birthday wishes. This is my last birthday celebration, I think. Uh, I'm going to the Love Hard tour tonight. And I'm going to put those pictures up from the other concert. I'm going to show them here. That's it. I'm probably going to see you guys at the end of the night to show you what this makeup is looking like. So I want to just show you what time it is. 
It's not really a wear test, but it is a wear test. Okay, so it's 514. If I missed anything, I will add it as I am editing. I hope I did not. I love you guys. And I'll see you on my, my check-in when I come back. I'm not going to check in throughout the night, I don't think. We'll see. It depends on what this makeup is looking like. If it's looking crazy, then I may come and check in with you guys. Okay, my precious jewels, I'm back. It is 12. 21 a.m. I had this makeup on for, I'm gonna say six hours, right? It's supposed to be a dewy foundation. It's called the Makeup Forever <laughs> HD Hydra Glow Foundation. I'm wearing it in the color 4Y70. I think that the makeup held up pretty well, but I don't feel like this Danessa Myricks water powder serum did anything. I mean, it may have kept the oil down around my nose, but as far as the texture in my cheeks, like my cheeks look very textured to me. And when I say very, I mean like some primers that I have, my skin is like very, very smooth. This one, I'm not impressed by. Yes, it's definitely a glowy foundation and I sprayed with a glowy setting spray. So like I said, the makeup held up, but around my nose is usually oilier. So I'm gonna say that this Yummy Skin Powder Serum, I really can't recommend this because it didn't do enough around my nose for me to tell you to go spend $36 on this bottle of water powder serum. I love Danessa Myricks. I love a lot of her products. This one I'm still gonna have to play with because I feel like this could be used in conjunction with something else. Like you can put your regular products on your face, your regular primer set the way you normally would and then put this in your really, really oily areas because I mean, it's not oily. Like my face is not oily, but I don't know. Like I don't really see where, where it's worth. Let me put my, let me do my little. First of all, guys, I love this nameplate. I think it's so, so pretty. I love the way they wrote my name. It's so cute. Anyway, this this was one of the things I ordered and I had it in my haul around Christmas time. So I got to wear it. I think this is the second time that I got to wear it. Okay, so let's see. Cause really, the only place that's oily is my, my regular areas. But the skin looks nice. The foundation definitely oxidized. It was very orangey when I put it on. Then it got dark, but I love the way the makeup looks. I loved how I added this touch of pink so I didn't have to change my outfit. And I have this bra on that's like a teaback bra. And I have it on because I wanted to be able to put my hair over, which I did. I wore it like this so you didn't see it. But I didn't want it to be like where if I'm, because you know, this is like an off the shoulder thing. So yeah, so anyway, <laughs> I like this makeup. I think it looks gorgeous. I think the colors look very pretty. I think everything looks good. So I'm liking this foundation. I'm gonna test it out another time. Like I'm gonna do another real wear test. It felt so good to have my girl on tonight. <laughs> it did. I felt like the old me. Like I love the bald head, don't get me wrong. And I'm gonna wear it a lot, but I love some good hair. And when I tell you, this wig is so big, like it's so, like I could get my full everything. I'm going to redo it and make it fit my head. I was like, I hope nobody don't try to pull this wig off my head tonight. But I had a wonderful time. The concert was awesome. If you guys have not seen the Love Hard tour and you love Keish Cole, Jaheim, Trey Songs, and K. Michelle, it was awesome. They started right on time. They was not playing. It was a great concert. I sang all night. I probably won't have a voice tomorrow, but they all really sang. It was just a good R&B concert. I missed that. So anyway, my precious jewels, I love you guys. This is what our makeup is looking like at the end. I think it looks wonderfully glowy, but it's not, it's not dewy. It's got like a nice glow to it. So I can't wait to use this foundation again with a different primer and see how things work out. So that is it. I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Love you, love you, love you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. Okay. <laughs>